hello everyone welcome to a new series on langchain crash course so this video we will talk about what are the different components that are available in langchain and just to give you a heads up like what we will be covering in this uh, series and uh, what are the things uh, which langchain has and how it can be helpful for building a llm powered applications right so with that uh, let's get started uh, now what is langchain right so langchain is kind of a framework to build llm powered applications so it is kind of a plugin or a tool which you can use along with the llm to build certain uh, llm powered applications right and it has uh, a facility which can integrate different types of models so it is kind of a model agnostic like you can plug in different type of models like open ai llama 2 or palm 2 and with minimum code changes you can switch between these two uh, this type of models right then uh, currently langchain supports uh, two types of programming framework like python and uh, javascript so using this link you can go ahead and, and access the documentation for uh, python specific langchain implementation and the document is quite good so you can keep this handy whenever you uh, need it right so with this let's uh, talk about the different langchain modules and uh, so each of these modules which we will be talking uh, now, I will uh, do a hands-on session on each of these uh, topics and I will also share the code uh, link or the notebook link for each of these modules which can help you to uh, learn Langchain in, in the future videos. Right. So first one is like model input output which kind of enables us to standardize the LLM inputs and outputs and uh, so the things which you can uh, do using this model input output modules is like you can templatize your prompts you can make your prompts much more flexible you can switch between different uh, llm uh, models uh, like palm 2 or uh, open ai and or uh, llama 2 so the switching would be much more easier if you use this module and also uh, once you get the output from llm you can uh, use different type uh, types of par parser which you can uh, format your output from llm and you use it for the downstream task so the once you use the output parser uh, the, the output from the llm would be much more formatted which can be used for the uh, downstream task then there are uh, chains so if you want to build a certain LLM powered applications, then you may need to stitch different type of LLM components and chains kind of enables us to do that. So it kind of links the output of one LLM call as an input to the other LLM call, right? So, uh, so for building a complex uh, LLM powered application, chain is a very crucial part right then we have memory so this allows llm to retain historical uh, context so generally you know, we can have a conversation with llm and that conversation can be very long and uh, if the conversations which are happening at the starting of the conversation you can store it using this memory module and you can use it later as a context for the llm to do any downstream uh, task or do any analysis on the conversation which we are having so generally uh, this uh, memory is not being inbuilt in the llm so you can use langchain to store and use the memory or the prior conversations which we are having as a context for a downstream task right then we have retrieval modules where we can plug in external data and that external data can be used as a plugin for the llm so your llm may not be trained for your domain specific data or domain specific requirements right so you can use external data and you can uh, do a retrieval augmented generation process through which you can access uh, the outside world information which uh, the for the data which was not part of llm training process right so this retrieval augmented generation is uh, and one of the important concept we will also learn in this series and this will also he helps us to uh, access the user specific or domain specific data which is which was not part of the training of uh, your llm right then the last one is agent so uh, this agent is kind of uh, the thing which you should learn at the last uh, in the starting you should learn the other components or other modules of uh, langchain and with that understanding you should in the end you should learn the, what is agent 
right so this llm will be used as a reasoning engine to determine uh, the task and what are the tasks that are available and it will pick and choose a uh, different type of task and uh, or the actions and what manner it should uh, perform on on what order it should perform those actions that agent can enable us to do that so here the uh, llm is used as a region, reasoning engine to determine which actions to take and in which order right so agent will enable us to do that so yeah so uh, from the next video onwards we will uh, talk about the hands-on part of each of these modules and we will see uh, how langchain can enable us to do so many varieties of uh, things using llm so i hope you will like this series and you will uh, keep on watching the future videos and if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe and share it with your friends thank you see you in the next video